Hello VSS community, this is the latest research that is currently ongoing in 2024 for visual snow syndrome. Research number one is the VSS biomarker identification. VSI is collaborating with Dr. Francesca Poletta from King's College London to identify biomarkers in VSS. And thus far, Dr. Poletta and her team have identified the first ever possible biological basis of visual snow syndrome, which revealed that patterns of two brain chemical systems, glutamate and serotonin, are different in people with VSS compared to those without the condition. Dr. Poletta and her team will be continuing their work with VSI to further research measurable indicators that could aid in the diagnosis and treatment of VSS. Therefore, potential for pharmacological interventions can be explored from this research. Research number two is MBCT vision to treat VSS symptoms. Dr. Sui Wong will continue investigating MBCT, which is mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, as a treatment for VSS in collaboration with the VSI and the NHS Foundation. Dr. Wong and the VSI are working on another study together that will test how MBCT vision can improve the brain's visual network to filter out unwanted images to improve or resolve VSS symptoms. Dr. Wong will also be taking blood samples from study participants that could potentially reveal anomalies in the VSS patient population. And last but not least, the research that is currently ongoing in collaboration with Dr. Shanking and Dr. Klein from Bern University Hospital, the BSI is supporting a study exploring neuromodulation for VSS. This research investigates how transcranial alternating current stimulation, also known as TACS, can modulate overactive neural networks in the brain, potentially leading to new treatment options for VSS. Dr. Shanking and Dr. Klein's techniques aim to reduce various common VSS symptoms, including visual snow or static, palinopsia, blue field and optic phenomenon, photophobia, and nyctalopia. Dr. Shanking and Dr. Klein's goal is to pinpoint the specific areas in the brain where something is not functioning as it should. To learn more about the current research that is ongoing for visual snow syndrome, please feel free to tune in for more updates and research at www.visualsnowinitiative.org. Thanks so much.